Good day guys, welcome back on board U96 on U-Boat. We are heading out on patrol, just as usual, leaving the port of France, La Rochelle. Last time out we had some pretty good luck, we managed to sink quite a lot of shipping, and it wasn't really that much escort-wise that we had to deal with. So hopefully today we're going to have a repeat of that. We're heading out just off the coast of Ireland again, and we're going to see what we can pick up around there. If we can't find anything, then we know where there are some good shipping lanes from the Black Pit towards the UK. So if all else fails, we can always return down to there and pick ourselves up some shipping. So enjoy the episode. So a quick look at the map. This is where we're heading, just to the north of Ireland. Like I said, if we don't find anything up in the patrol sector, then we'll come down to the south there, to the Celtic Sea. But we've plotted out a little course that will start getting some kilometers clocked up and hopefully we'll find something in the area. So we'll see how we get on. Okay, well we've been tracking this single ship here. So what have we got? We'll have a look through the scope. I believe it's a single merchant. Just need to make sure that it's flying the right kind of flag and then we should be able to get things started here. Looks a bit choppy out there. Wouldn't want to be out fishing. Well, where are we? Let's have a look. Should be just slightly to the left. Not far off. There we go. Is that a liberty? There's a C3. We can tell that. And we've already worked out some of the information that we're going to need. So we just need to do a speed check. She's going solo, so she might be going quite fast. And she's doing 12 knots. Well, she is going pretty quick. And a quick distance check. As long as she is in within the range, then we can go. And she is. So we'll flood tube 3 and 2. Get those fired away. We'll aim slightly at the front of the ship and hopefully we'll get two good hits here and that'll be a good start for the episode. Well, we aimed at the front of the ship, but we ended up hitting the back and the middle. And looks like the damage is good. We don't often see that on a C3, so that look is quite promising. The flooding is going down real fast too. So hopefully this one might actually sink. And that is a very rare sight. She is going to go down. And we've achieved the minimum objective. But obviously we're out here to take down a lot more than that. So maybe we'll go and pick ourselves up a couple of passengers if there is any to take. And we'll get going on. But that's not a bad start to the episode. It would be nice if we can find a nice big convoy though. Don't really want to be just be picking off lone stragglers around the area. But we're doing alright. So let's get moving and we'll see where we can find anything else. Alright, we're just coming in to see if we can get ourselves any passengers. So we'll definitely take those two. We want to get the officers if possible. There's no more so we'll just take a full, full boat here. Not really that fussed about only grabbing officers and stuff. We've probably got enough experience points now that it doesn't really matter at this point. But any extra XP we can get, we may as well. So we'll tidy up the map now and we'll get moving. And really, we are in search of a convoy. But if we find anything else, then we'll cut back in and we'll see what, what we're going to do. Obviously, we want to take down as many ships as possible. So we'll just take whatever comes our way. Oh, we've got ourselves another lone ship here, so we'll close the gap and we will just deck gun this. I think it's an NA-1, so it's unarmed. So we'll just try our best and we'll put the shots in and we'll get this thing sunk, but there's no rush. And hopefully just a few shots with the deck gun and she'll go down fairly quickly.
Well, that should just about do it for their NA1. Can't imagine it's going to take any more shots than that. That flooding's gone down far too quickly. So that's our second ship sunk. Yet to find a convoy of any sort with the hydrophone in the patrol sector. We have done our kilometers now, so we can just keep moving around. So I'm probably going to head out towards the middle of the Atlantic or maybe down to the south of the Irish into the Celtic Sea there. We know there's some good shipping, but we just want to look for a, a decent sized convoy. Because all I've found so far is two lone ships and one flying a neutral flag. So we'll get down to Periscope. We'll get on with it. We'll start heading down these ways and see if we can pick up any convoys out here. Okay, we've got ourselves one more lone ship here. Unarmed, unarmed unescorted so we will come in and just use the deck gun again on that I want to save the torpedoes just in case we do find anything coming our way so it's a tanker of some sort so it'll just be a deck gun job and might get a good explosion out of it but that's just going to be the job is just to deck gun this thing down Wow, how, we how weak was that thing? Only took a few shots to put her down. Five or six, I think it was. Got a good fire on, and there we go. Got a good explosion too, so perfect. She goes down. We'll get the message sent away to the BDU. We'll make sure we get the credit that we deserve. And we are going to keep on moving. Back down to periscope depth and on the hydrophones. And we will try and pick ourselves up something. But we are running a little bit low on the old fuel here, so we're going to have to head towards back to the port that we came from. Can't be getting any milk cows out here, so we'll just see where we're at. Well, it's all looking a bit bleak out here. Haven't found a single convoy yet, and we are running very low on diesel. We've probably just about got enough to get back to port, but I can't see us being able to run laps around here. So we're just going to have to keep trawling our way back in towards Port of La Rochelle. Oh, here we go. Here's the business. Five to ten ships. Couldn't have come at a better time. So we'll definitely see where that goes. Here we go. And nine to twenty-one ships. Like bloody buses have come along both together. Obviously, we're going to go for the yeah the nine to twenty-one. That's heading roughly where we can actually get to it. The other one's heading back towards the UK. So we will try and intercept this and we'll try and preserve our diesel as much as possible along the way. But this is definitely going to be something that we can at least try and get a small attack done here. Try and take out what we can. Obviously we want to get the big guys first. That would be good. Alright, we've got visual range of the convoy that's heading in. So we'll definitely take a look and see what's going to be top priority it's a small tanker definitely worth taking a pop shot on c3 here that's also definitely on the menu liberty that's good we've got some good ships in here that we can try and take out what's escorting so we definitely want to try and get rid of this thing what's this one here just a flower class not really worried about that and same with that the only thing they can do is drop depth charges on us we won't be coming up to the surface for it so we'll take out the escort the destroyer and then we'll probably just stick with the convoy and then we'll try and pick off one or two of the other targets if we can't take out any more destroyers don't actually know how many there are there's one there I don't believe that's the one we want to take I think it's this one here so we'll Try and recognize that. Uh, put the course in. 268, I think it was. I think it was that. We'll go with that for now. Let's just have a look. 
and now it's actually a couple of degrees less than that can we lock and unlock please no doesn't want to let me okay <laughs> there we go so 262 is our heading recognize this as a destroyer and we'll have to have a little look it's got one funnel in the middle one big flag it yeah, looks like a hunt class to me we'll go with that and distance check and a quick speed check and then we'll be away and we'll get this hopefully get this thing sunk and then we can start trying to pick off some of the larger larger boats for ourselves okay five knots it is so we'll go with that and is there anything else that we can maybe take a shot to see if we can maybe try and get two for one here that's just about out of range but by the time we take some shots it might be in range so we'll, we'll suss out a solution at least make an attempt here at the C3 and hopefully at least at the very least we'll take out the destroyer and if we get lucky then we'll take out the C3 and the destroyer or maybe we'll just take out the C3 who knows we'll just have to <laughs> see what happens once we take the shot yes yeah, so it's just a little bit out of range but by the time the torpedoes actually get there should be within range so might get lucky here we'll aim at the front of the ship and hopefully we'll get something even if we just get one hit on it it might be enough at least to slow it down and leave it dead in the water so we're going to hook up to this hunt class destroyer again just do another distance check and we'll sort of split the difference we'll put a little marker on the main map and when when the torpedoes pass that mark then we can launch at this hunt class destroyer here probably shouldn't launch straight away don't want to uh hit that first and then completely miss on the c3 so there's a little bit between them but it's not too much so once our torpedoes get to around about the edge of that circle then we can take our shot on the destroyer and if we time it right then we should end up with two kills here it's always a little bit of a tricky situation though because you never know what's going to hit first and as soon as you hit one then the other goes into evasive maneuvers and especially if we hit the c3 first those destroyers do move very fast so we're just about ready for a shot here there is a little bit of leeway when you do get the hit because obviously they have to react and do something a quick distance check again and we should be pretty much sweet i think we're good to go here just a couple more seconds and might as well let it go now Oh, there they go timed to perfection doesn't get much better than that absolutely spot on there with the timings so happy days and the c3 is definitely going to be in trouble no fire or anything but she has taken two big torpedoes so she is surely going to be in a bad way and she, oh, she's one of those ones eh gaining health that's probably just because i had the user interface turned off there but she is pretty well depleted only 50 percent though this uh this destroyer over here looks like she's in real bad shape she looks like she is going straight down and she is so perfect so we'll go back to the c3 and there we go the health bar has gone down quite a lot so yeah she's been knocked out of health and it's just a flooding matter here so we'll just sit tight, we'll see what happens to the C3, but we're not going to make it a priority to sink it because we want to chase down any other large ships that we can here. You know how it goes, we'll come back and use the deck gun to finish the C3 up if that's what it takes. Hopefully it will go down all by itself, but worst case scenario, we'll just deck gun it on the way home. Just like we normally do. 
and there is a couple of other large ships in here that we want to try and get a couple of torpedoes sent away to so we'll see what happens well there's not much happening with the c3 she's definitely sitting dead in the water uh, flooding that's taking too long we don't have time to sit here and waste so let's try and get over to the other side of the convoy all these escorts are coming roughly to where we launched from so they can search their area and they can waste their time there is one ahead of us that doesn't seem to be phased so let's take a look at that actually and see if we should probably launch a torpedo at it see it's a big destroyer so I wonder if I should maybe try and use my rear tube just to launch a quick torpedo at that better come back up to PD to do so but all those other escorts can just flood around to the south there and if we take out this big destroyer to the north the one leading the way then that will pretty much open up that whole side of the convoy for us and I know that there's a couple of good ships over there that I wouldn't mind taking down so we will try and close in and use tube number five to take this thing down it doesn't really look like it's um, going too much off course most of those cargo ships are probably weaving but the escort will just be running straight so we can go with that I'd be pretty happy to do so then we just need to hook it up and we will have to do a quick speed check just to make make sure that they haven't increased or decreased speed too much but if we're close enough it won't really matter if they are we just have to make sure that we're all good with the aim so let's just do some of this recognize this it's got two two uh two funnels in the middle tribal class could be a tribal looks pretty much like a tribal recognize it as that course hasn't changed much distance and we probably should do a speed check just to be sure don't want to be sending it away and getting a miss here and we'll stop the clock right there she is cruising at five knots so she hasn't changed much which is good for us that means we should pretty much be a direct hit can't imagine we would miss from here so tube number five is away and hopefully that destroyer is going to go down and that's going to leave that whole north side of the convoy open for an attack and we will keep reversing just to end up in front of them There we go, we've got a direct hit. So hopefully that's going to be enough to send that down, and it looks like it is. One hit a quitter, that's what we like to see. I do like these destroyers that just take the one torpedo. Makes our life a lot easier. And it also saves torpedoes, that so means that we can take more tonnage. So she's going to go down, and like I said, that's going to leave that whole north side of the convoy exposed for us to come in and kind of pick off whatever we want to take. Just going to try and take the largest ships possible and see how many torpedoes we have left afterwards and maybe we'll get into a situation where we can deck gun something. We've actually got a destroyer heading right in at us right now. So we need to play a bit of cat and mouse here and see if we can get away. It has picked us up. Okay, we need to... <laughs> yes, we're running in reverse here as well, which is probably not the best idea. So a little bit slower but I think we I think we might have done all right there got away safely all right we're back with them and we are gonna try and take down this destroyer that was hunting us just a few minutes ago but they have all calmed back down again now and they are back in position so that looks like an EF class to me pretty sure two funnels in the middle and uh, we'll do a quick distance and speed and we will 
probably just send the one torpedo again away at this and hopefully have that taken care of and that then should leave the convoy exposed for us and stopping the clock at five knots so they are back to cruising speed and no change so we should be pretty sweet and we will launch one torpedo we'll aim at the front and hopefully We'll have a direct hit here. Well, good. Another good hit there. The damage is not as serious as I would have liked. It hasn't gone all the way down like they normally do. But, you know, time will tell. She may go down at the very least. Hopefully she's going to sit here dead in the water or cannot keep up cruising with the rest of the convoy. This could be an unfortunate situation where we have to launch a second torpedo. She has got a nice big hole in the middle. So hopefully that's going to do a little bit more damage for us and take on some more water. But this is definitely going to open up the rest of the convoy now we can actually start thinking about taking some tonnage just need to wait and see what happens to this thing if she comes to a dead standstill then we're on a we're on a plus if she gets sunk then it's obviously even better but it looks like she's still moving quite rapidly too maybe keeping up at the five knots that might be unfortunate I definitely don't really want to waste a second torpedo trying to sink it. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens with this thing. But uh, there's bigger fish to fry here. We got a Liberty cargo and a tanker for sure that we want to try and take down. Uh, I think all the destroyers are out of the way. So we don't really want to be playing around with them. Is that the boat I'm looking at? It is. She looks like she's in better condition than what the health bars is, for sure. <laughs> we'll see how, how she goes and see what happens. Alright, it's time to think about some tonnage now. We've got an opening and we have a, the Liberty in sight. We will plug in everything that we know. Liberty and distance. I'm pretty sure it's probably still doing the five knots that they were doing, but always good to check just in case the torpedo keeps on running. So we will do a quick speed check here and we'll start the clock now. And stopping the clock at five knots. She is cruising, so we will load two torpedoes, tubes two and three. We've used up both of our rear torpedoes, so we only have what's left in the bow. They are good to go and we'll aim at the front and we will fire them away. And there we go, two good hits on that Liberty, and she's got a huge fire on board. Let's see, the damage is about 85-90%. Flooding is happening. So hopefully we're going to be on for a winner here. Damage is full. It's just the, the C3s, you can never tell what's going to happen. They normally end up dead in the water. But the Liberties, you launch two and sometimes they go down, sometimes they don't. But this one has today sunk so we've managed to sink that off two torpedoes so happy with that which leaves us a good opening to go and attack something else so we don't have to worry about trying to clean up this liberty so that adds another seven or eight thousand tons to our list so we're gonna be happy with that she is going down and we just need to make sure that we stay safe here yeah, we've got something coming in from the south side, so as long as we can evade that, then we should be able to pick up ourselves another target after. Which is coming directly for us, so let's dive down deep, try and evade, and then we'll pick ourselves a new target. All right, we're back with them. We have managed to stay safe. We have a oil class some sort of tanker here. I'm not sure what it is actually. We need to 
use the old menu here so basically looking at the rear of the ship doesn't look like a T2 possibly an old class two two masts stack and the funnel at the back so we'll recognize that as so quick distance check and we'll have to do a quick speed check I'm pretty sure they should be doing five knots again but can never be too short so we'll get that clock started and see what they're doing and she is cruising at five knots and as you can see we are very low on torpedoes we only have one left after this one so we may not end up using it unless we can try and take something down that only requires one but tubes two and four away Well, there we go. Two good hits on the torpedoes. One massive after explosion as well, and the damage is fully done. Now it's just a case of how much flooding is going to happen quickly. But it looks like she is definitely done for here. Huge fire on deck. And she is going to go down. And there we go. We have all that extra tonnage added to the list. So we are doing pretty well, considering we didn't think we were going to find anything and we were actually going to have to just go straight back to port. We've actually done all right here. We've actually sunk pretty much most of the convoy. Okay, well, we're pretty much all done here. There's not much for us to uh, compete with. We can't really be deck gunning much. There's still a few ships around. But this destroyer that never went down should only require a couple of shots and we'll get that added to our list it's not more like we're going to get much credit for it but we add it to our list and that goes down and that pretty much leaves us to just head head on back to port try and refuel and rearm and we need to get out here and try and do the same again if not better so we've had a fairly good outing all things considered well, for a while there I didn't think we were actually going to find anything other than the two lone ships that we found at the beginning but we'll get all this cleaned up we'll head back to port refuel and rearm Well, here we are back at port. I didn't quite get that next medal, but that's not really much of an issue. We'll get that next time, no doubt, if we have a good outing. So we've made the papers. I know we haven't. It's the invasion of the Soviet Union. Okay. Well, here's a little list of everything that we did sink. A couple of things up the north, a couple of things down on that convoy. Did all right, actually. Yeah, we did pretty good considering just a couple of destroyers and the rest of it was all freight and all the missions were successful so we did pretty well I think. Well that's us for this episode guys so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment down below all that good stuff we had a fairly decent outing like I say it was a bit of a struggle because we were floating around too much up in the north should have taken one of the patrols further south which would have actually guaranteed us a lot more so next time that we go out we'll try and find ourselves someone that's actually going to guarantee us some good pickings so i hope you enjoyed that like i say like and subscribe and i'll catch you up in the next one